a nice bit of Elvis there, which is just one of the many impressions our next guest can do as part of the show. Imposter, who does he think he is? Which is part of the 2017 Auckland Pride Festival. Now, the show starts on Saturday and includes 25 impressions, including Judy Garland, Julie Andrews, of course it does, Johnny Cash, <laughs> Janis Joplin, Liza Minnelli, Barbara Streisand, Creed... Creed, yeah. Chubby Checker, <laughs> threw that one in there. Elvis Presley and Almo, welcome star of the show, Jason Chasland and director and co-creator Lindy Jane Rutherford. Welcome, guys. Yay. 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 <laughs> Trouble all day, these two. I want to talk yeah. more about that Creed later, but LJ, tell me about this. I mean, how did the whole show come about? Uh, well, Jason and I worked together a long time ago, and um, we got on rather well. And uh, Jason said to me one day, I have a big pile of impressions that I can do. Um, and I want to do a show and I want you to be the person to help me do it. And so he came to my house and we had a bit of an impression off <laughs> <laughs> in, my, fun, so in yeah. my lounge. Three hours. He did about 60 impressions for me. Wow. And, and some of them weren't very good, but a lot of them were absolutely it's sensational. Like a swipe right, so, swipe left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've created this show. Um, it's developed over the years. We've had about four seasons. We've done it in Nelson, Wellington twice, and even in LA we did a season. And so now it's this big show where there's a story and 27 impressions. It's pretty awesome. Can, Jason, wow. can you do an impression of LJ? <laughs> 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 I never thought about that. <laughs> 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 hey guys! <laughs> 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 that you were really good at impressions. That one was brilliant. Um, <laughs> it was, I was working on a cruise ship and it kind of, uh, it spa I knew that I was kind of doing it at a young age and that's part of what the story is about. I was mimicking my grandparents and then mimicking people around me and kind of hiding behind doing that rather than being myself. Mm. But when I was like on the cruise ship, I was about 21 and um, I was working with a vocal coach and he was like, you know, you kind of can sound like this and this and... Um, yeah, just kind of snowballed, and then when I came back, and then I was working with LJ, I was like, maybe I'll just give this a go. Jason actually has four octaves, which is very, very rare. Um, it means he can sing right up there, Mariah Carey styles, and right down there with what, wow. Elvis, Johnny John Cash. Rolls, Johnny Cash. Well, Kenny, wow. I'd like you to prove that. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite early um, <laughs> in the morning. Um, um, it's a, a test of a show. true yeah. professional. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smile and nod. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good oh, wave. Good okay. wave as well. Oh, I'll try. Um, <laughs> what's your favourite ones to do? It, it changes. It right. depends on the audience because I think you get reactions. Like sometimes, you know, you hear that sheer vamp of turn back time and things like that and then you just, you feel the audience, you're like, okay, this is the one tonight. Or, you know, it's just, it's constantly different. But yeah, Creed is, is one that... It just kind of happened, and then yeah. and mm. everyone's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Creed. But People are like, yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, Woo! Creed is very instantly sort of noticeable, isn't it? I mean, so the whole show is about a, a young boy growing up on a farm in Wairarapa. Yeah. Exactly. Is that, is that actual Jason, or is it...? Yeah, so I play a version of myself, yeah. um, mm. which is strange and wonderful at the same time. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, and, and it's... 90% all true. Right. Um, you know, you dramatically embellish things in that, but it's, um, yeah, it's a story of... It's quite universal as well. It's, it's in a relationship with a grandparent. And it's very and Kiwi, which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're doing the impressions, mm -hmm. are you getting into the clothes and doing them, or are you just doing them with your bodies? No, so the, the difference between, like, an impersonator is... An impersonator will, like, totally, you know, the illusion, the makeup, all right. that stuff, but we, A, don't have time, and B, <laughs> I don't look like any of them. So, um, it's, yeah... It's about the mannerisms the and breaking Kate down Bush the voice. You. So you do impressions. That's yeah. what you do, at. Right. Yeah, that's so you call it an impressionist rather than impersonator. But yeah. yeah. You know, because when, when, when I hear you tell that story about growing up in the wider rapper and, and doing um, impressions of people, were, were you a lonely child? <laughs> <laughs> he had all his friends and his friends. No, and I think, it, it, you know, I had a really happy childhood, <laughs> mum and dad. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I had two great sisters and we had just this amazing farm life. But I think... Uh, because we were just encouraged to be really creative and not watch like, a lot of television, things like that, you just found ways to entertain yourself, and that was my vice. And, and LJ, how do you take the story, I guess, and you know all these different impersonations and, and theme it into a story that we understand? Impressions. Well, it's all about <laughs> him coming <laughs> home uh, to the Wairarapa, and things trigger off memory, and therefore that's how we link link the impressions with the story. It's it's like, oh my goodness, this wig or, you know, except not and, like that. And such great, great songs as well and mm. such great people that you've chosen. Mm. Um, LJ, I was looking at you before and I was going, I 
just the face is so familiar, and I've <laughs> flicked at what it is. Skits. Yep. The yep. comedy, yep. the comedy show yes, in the nineties. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've yes, done so many things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been around for a long time. <laughs> Eighty-seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> Get that in my frame, ready, go. <laughs> right, I've got a few of them out the back now. <laughs> <laughs> All of us, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, that was the, the early night. That was the first thing I did um, as soon as I left Toy County New Zealand Drama School. I um, yeah was on skits, the Samisis, and um, various other. Comedy shows. People yeah. look at your face going, that's right. I know. I like, was the bar langy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. Yeah. No, no, look, I can feel the energy. This show's going to be fantastic. Yep, it is. Um, it I'm going to come back. Hopefully, we're going to get a few of the impressions. Is that all right? <laughs> well, hopefully. Don't worry, I'll get the producer to get the checkbook out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he wants to be paid. Hey? Anything, <laughs> anything for money, we'll be back straight <laughs> after these here on the cafe. <laughs> If someone takes a spill, it's me and not. <laughs> Welcome back to the cafe, and we are talking about imposter. Who does he think he is with the star of the show, Jason, and co creator and director, LJ? Now, Jason, a lot of singing, what, 27? 27 different yeah, impressions yeah. that you do. Have you had much singing training? I, I have. I started quite late, but I think in some ways it was kind of a benefit because my voice had settled a little bit. Um, but I had a great teacher, especially called um, Olga Schwartz, um, and she did a lot of the ground training, and Bruce Greenfield. And they kind of poked me and, like, stop being lazy, you will sing. And... <laughs> Is this what you always wanted to do, be on stage, be in front of people like this? I, I knew that I wanted to perform, but I was quite shy, and wow. I sort of thought I'd be an all black. <laughs> <laughs> well, <it's, yeah. laughs> <laughs> I think something could happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a new millennium. Anything can happen. That's right. No, so you're living your dream now, really, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm from the All Black bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, do you two actually get any work done? <laughs> we have a lot of downtime. We go through, uh, like, yeah, we do. Phases. It's nice. like yeah. we're really intense, really driven, and then it's gossip and Facebook, and then back to really intense, really mm. driven. Mm. But I think the breaks are, are essential as well, you know, because being a one-man show, it's really intense and yeah. quite exhausting yeah. Yeah. for both of us. How do you keep that energy up when you're on stage? I mean, and you must have to feed off the crowd a lot because you're up there on your own. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really great question. Um, uh, Baraka. <laughs> right, all those kind of Esther C, Esther C, not the other one. Right. Um, just yeah, try and keep and try and have lots of sleep. I think it's the biggest thing, especially with your voice. It's like mm -hmm. you can go on, you can be tired, you can keep going, but there's only so long your voice can keep going and going and going. You know. So and and both of you clearly want everyone to leave, going that was a fantastic show. Which I and guess they do. Yeah. Um, everywhere we've done it, it's been a standing ovation every night. Yes. Wow. So, what about know, audiences amazing. in different places? Like you mentioned, you've done it in LA. Was mm -hmm. the what did the, what they liked there different to what we like in New Zealand? I I think there's a couple of uh, sort of classic sort of Broadway people that not all Kiwis kind of maybe understand as well. So it was quite interesting. It felt like it was there was a part of it that that was home in Hollywood as well because some of the characters you know like were from there. And and so they got they were like oh my god. Like and, our, and our after party was in like Charlie Chaplin's original like um, mm. speakeasy, and so mm. all yeah. these kind of crazy. things were infused That's in that cool. energy. Yeah, so it was crazy. Cool. Yeah, it was mad. Okay, well, look, I, um, I know heaps of people are going to come and see the show, um, uh, but we're here now, so I'd love, <laughs> I'd love a sample of something. Yeah, I can feed crazy. you a sausage roll. Give me a sausage roll. roll. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've got, like... It is like, early, too. We understand this. Right. I'll do a little, like... So then we've got Elmo. I'll be like, um... Elmo loves all the cookies, and Elmo loves the children, and Elmo loves his girlfriends, and Elmo loves to play. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. That is yeah. really, really awesome. So you've got the show on, then what is happening next for you, Jason? Um, I'm running off to Bahrain. Wow. to teach uh, singing and perform over there at a new uh, international school. So I'm one of three tutors that they've picked from around the world to go and do that for a year. That's so, yeah, a new adventure. A new adventure, yeah. right, excellent. Yeah, that's exciting. And what about for you, LJ? What's coming um, up? I've got a pile of shows that I'm directing, actually. Um, yeah, a children's show uh, with a uh, little dog barking um, and uh, a show at Cirque Theatre in Wellington um, called Hand to God. Uh, and then I go on national tour with four flat whites in Italy, so I've got a busy first half of the year. Uh, it's a thriving industry at the moment, <laughs> isn't it? There's lots of stuff well, on, which is great. we make it happen for ourselves because we have to. No, yeah. true. No, you're exactly. right. And um, people hopefully will go along and support yeah. everything you're doing. Uh, 
can we get some more impressions? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe two Please. more and we'll eat the hook. Um, get two sausage um, rolls. Two sausage rolls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, going on from the Barbara thing before, you know, it's sort of like that, um, okay, so she talks like this. And it's very southern, don't you? And if you sing, you don't always pronounce the um, the consonants or the vowels. You just go through <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, she's yeah. like, what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, you know, um, my Johnny Cash is a bit of like. It's like you know, like hi, I'm Johnny Cash, but it's you know, it's very like. He's got that shaky vibrato, and we just sort of we play on a lot of the things because they're like mm. they're impressions, so they're us playing and mm. mucking around mm. with them. But mm. I love, I think one of our favourites energy-wise is Liza Minnelli because yeah, she's so fantastic, you know. <laughs> and everything she does is just my mama was there, and I was, you know, we had to have peas and carrots, and everyone was shocking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love her. Geez, you're good. <laughs> you are yeah. so good. That's great, isn't yeah. it? That's nice. awesome. Thank okay. you for doing that for Thank us. Thank you. Great team. <laughs> Look forward to seeing what else happens this year. Best of luck for the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, imposter. Who does he think he is? As part of the 2017 Auckland Pride Festival, the show kicks off on Saturday. Make sure you head along. I'm sure you've had a good enough taste to see what you're in for. <laughs> Coming up.